Hey guys, welcome to Red Eye Survival. I have a squirrel skin that I just recently tanned, so I thought I'd come out here and take advantage of this nice day and try to put a light coating of smoke on it. All right, so let's get to it. Some of you might remember this guy from my squirrel hunt video. This ended up being the rock squirrel that I shot. I just tanned it last week. Turned out pretty good. It's a nice, soft, pliable leather. There's a few spots on the edges that are a little stiff still, but I'm gonna probably end up you know trimming all that off because I'm gonna turn this into a uh, make a squirrel pouch out of it. But uh, just kind of went and put a a little bit of smoke on it before I do. Yeah, when I, uh, I was originally wanting to case skin this guy, you know, with the head and the tail, but uh, by the time I got around to skinning it, it started raining on me, so I had to kind of speed things up a little bit and basically just got this section here, just enough to make a pouch or two out of it. And of course, in my haste, you know, I put a few holes in it, but uh, I don't think that'll matter much. All right, as you can see, I got my squirrel skin wrapped around this soda can. I just got it clipped in place with these clothes pins. And uh, now this is where <laughs> some of y'all may laugh at me. I'm just, uh, I really love the way uh, chaga smells. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm burning a few pieces of chaga, just kind of have it smoldering. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can't infuse this skin with this smell and uh, you know, maybe lightly smoke it at the same time. Um, seems to be working. I see smoke coming out of the top of my skin here. So I'm just going to get a few of these little small pieces going and just kind of, you know, let it slowly do its thing. See if this works or not. <laughs> Seems to be working pretty good so far. Gotta laugh at my makeshift smoker out of this Coke can. I was just thinking to myself, like, man, how can I smoke this? You know, aside from just tying it onto a stick and holding it over a fire, you know, how, how can I smoke this thing without having a smoker? And I know, just kind of came up with this idea. Like I said, it seems to be working, but I guess only time will tell. <laughs> As we all know, smoke rises, and I definitely see it coming out of the top here. I'm actually kind of impressed with my little MacGyverism here. I honestly did not know if this was going to work or not, but kind of got a little hobo smoker. <laughs> All right, time for the moment of truth. Let's get these clothespins off and see how it did. Oh, wow. <laughs> did uh, smoke it. Kind of gave it a little bit of color, too. Huh, that's not bad. 
Yeah. That's a nice smoky chaga smell to it. Huh. Kind of impressed with that. Like I said it may not be the thing you want to do on large skins, but shoot, man, for a little small squirrel skin like this, I think that worked out pretty good. <laughs> pretty cool. Well, I'm sure I didn't invent anything new with my hobo smoker there, but uh, it was definitely something new to me. You know, I've never tried this before, and gotta say I'm pretty pleased with the results. But I guess that's gonna about wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed it, catch me again next time.